the next version of Mac OS will be Mac OS Sequoia. So I'm already going to just apologize in advance for the next year when I get confused between Sonoma and Sequoia. So thanks to Apple for that. That's fun. Right. right. Yep. Anything stand out for you in Mac OS, Adam? Maybe some of the contextual highlighting in Safari. I'm curious to see how that's going to work. Oh, yeah. So okay. apparently when you're browsing in Safari, there's now a little button in the menu bar you can click on. It sort of works like, uh, looks like a slimmed down version, I would guess, of almost Reader. And actually it integrates with Reader as well. Um, right. Where you click on it and it will scan the page for relevant content and sort of summarize it in a little drop down box. So for example, if you're looking at a location, it might pop up a map uh, to show you, you know, here, here's where the hotel is and without having to scan down the page and find the hotel. So I'm using, I'm assuming it's leveraging probably Apple's data detectors along with some AI stuff and, and that sort of thing. And, and it will also build a like text summary of content on the page. So from reader view, I thought that was yep. pretty neat. So yep. Could be yep. handy. Yep. I agree. Yeah, yeah. The the one thing that stood out to me, with, well, there were two things really that stood out to me with um, oh. Mac OS. The 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 fact when they were talking about Safari, there was definitely a PR pitch involved where they yes. said, "If you've missed anything that's been added to Safari in recent years, <laughs> it's time to check it out." Right, and and that's like there's a lot of people that moved to Chrome and haven't even considered Safari since then. So I, I that's, well, that, you know, I understandably. Yeah. Let's say why, because Safari became hot garbage. Yeah. Broke and the internet. It still is. <laughs> well, so you're, you're not a Safari fan, huh, Adam? I was a huge Safari fan for a long, long time. And then now, I mean, I'm a web developer and it's basically become the like new IE is what we call it in our little web development community where IE wow. was the worst browser to develop for because it would just break so much stuff. And Safari has kind of become that. I don't know why or how, like just a lot of things don't work. Things aren't supported. It's sluggish and slow. The developer tools have never been that great or as great in my opinion as some others. So, yep. Yep. All right. The yeah. um the other thing that jumped out at me for Mac OS was iPhone mirroring with control, right? Which yep. means that you get you can mirror your iPhone and control it from your Mac. Uh you can get your iPhone notifications on your Mac. You can click on them it brings up the iPhone mirroring so that you can actually interact with the app that sent you the notification. It's, it's like continuity enhanced. And I, and I, I love that. So that, that I, I, I when I'm sitting at my desk, I don't want to have to pick up my iPhone because I got a notification from an app that doesn't exist on my Mac. And now I don't have to. So like yep. that I loved. Um, at least yeah. in, in theory, I haven't used it yet. Uh, I haven't installed the betas. Have either of you had to, headed down that path yet? <laughs> yeah. The other, the other thing I, the, I guess the other thing that stood out to me on the Mac side was the couple of things that they kind of Sherlocked. Um, so like the browser layout thing where you can, you know, get your windows to snap into different quadrants and different places and keyboard yes. shortcuts for that. There's a lot of yes. apps that people yeah. use for that. Um, I think again, Apple's going to classic thing where theirs is going to be sort of slimmed down. So I think there's always opportunity for those third party apps, but, yep. and then the bigger, bigger one was password, the password app. Right. That, yeah. I'm glad yeah. they did that. That that's great. Yeah. Like they needed that. Yeah. Yep. And I yeah, think but, that, the you know, suddenly, came up... <laughs> oh, sorry. I was going to say, I think the question came up in the discord chat too, whether or not the password app was going to have vaults, you know, there's shared passwords now, but are they, is it going to have vaults that you can share, you know, keep things to yourself? Uh, the screenshot or... shows shared groups and one says yeah. the Peterson okay. family. So, yep. So there you go. There you go. So. That's great. I, I, yeah. I, 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 I'm not upset at all about them, you know, doing that and Sherlocking you know, one password or, or Bitwarden or whatever you want to insert there. Sure. I, I think that, 
I mean, we need that. It needs to be there in Mac OS. It needs to be easy for people to share passwords. And then in Tennessee, Papa pointed out, and it was kind of my favorite feature too, going back briefly to Safari, you know, it's, it's one of the, I don't use the browser very much, but I find one of its features that I really like is the two-factor authentication. So when you get texted your number, it comes from messages. You have to go get it and copy it or type it in if you're in Chrome or or oh, no? Was there a feature in, to do in that? In Chrome, you do. But Safari, yeah, yeah. it automatically. But in Safari, it, 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 it offers yeah. to fill it for you, which I yeah. absolutely love. So that's that's a nice feature of of, uh, of Safari. So hopefully the rest of it gets better. But yeah, there's a lot of it that, that's been broken, and that's why I've stayed away from it as my main browser. And, and I will so. say, and this was also in iOS, but Mail seems to be getting a little better in Mac OS um with the the categorization yeah. and and that sort of thing that i mean that's that's on all three ipad os ios and mac yeah. os uh it, yeah. but it it you know there are parts of that that make me hope that i can move back to mail apple mail at some point so you know <laughs> yeah but there's, yeah, there's that, that. that made me i've been i mean i've been on spark for a long time as i've mentioned in the past yeah. and some of the mail features that oh those are those are some pretty cool features but like Spark already kind of has that categorization thing, and I've loved that for right. a, long, a long, long time. It separates my newsletters from my, you know, spammy bits and other bits, so I can focus on specific things. So that that's a nice addition there. Again, more kind of Sherlocking, where it's like, oh, these are great features from other mail applications. We're going to integrate them in. The other cool thing yep. I think I thought um, was Math Notes. Is that so coming to Mac OS? I think that's iPad it's in notes, OS. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. It's also oh, it's in no, notes. It works on in Mac notes OS too, too, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I'll I'll believe you. Yeah. So we we can oh, dive yeah. we can dive more yeah. in that when we get into iPad OS. But uh, so I sure. thought that was cool. And then the only other yep. thing that I'm actually I can tell you the feature I'm not happy about, but I actually I personally personally am, but I'm not happy about is uh, the updates to Photos because. That's when I get in trouble with my wife because she's going to tell me why the frick did they mess with my, because she uses, that's oh. probably her number one app and yep. they effed with the UI and that means I'm in trouble because it's my fault. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. No, I, I understand the, <laughs> because the, Apple the, changed the fault it. of that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she's yeah, going to yeah. go, yeah. where the F are, where the F are my albums? Well, they're all down all the way down at the bottom. Yes. Why the, no. Yep. Yeah. Did they move yep. them to the bottom? Yeah. Yep. Because they yep. knew you wouldn't like them there. <laughs> That's right. She is yep. gonna. I'm just hoping and, you and, can customize it back. <laughs> and and you know when when those kinds of things come up at home and you say things like, "Well, look." That's just your change resistance uh, getting involved here. Give it two weeks, you'll be fine. That generally doesn't land well. At all, Give I don't understand why. Out of the hospital, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, but I still don't. I still won't have a lock, a key right. to the lo the, the the new locks. That's right. right. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Do you want right, flowers while you're in the hospital my, or uh, what? Why, this is why my yeah. spouse's devices are three versions back. That's right. That's right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, you could show uh, your spouse the how it looks on yours, and then ask. Do you want me to upgrade you, right? Because then, yep. then it's it's not your choice. You didn't you didn't. Yeah, cause no, this. I've 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 learned when she comes to say, should I update? I said, well, this is going to change. This is going to change. This is going to change, and this is going to change, and this is how. Do you want that? Yep. No. No. Great. <laughs> almost always the answer. Right. Yeah. Exactly. 